A few weeks ago, I picked up these blueberry bushes and I just got a call from the guy that he's got some more he's willing to part with. Um, got the CNC running on a commission, but uh, I think it's time to hitch up and go grab these things. So there's a reason why we're jumping on this opportunity to get some more of these bushes uh, for the orchard. But before we get to that, it's kind of late in the day. And between here and the hour where the orchard is, there's like nothing. So we got to get something first. We got pizza dudes. I got a tiny pizza in the box. So I can't figure out how to open. Chicken Supreme. Mm. You're not hungry yet. Is that because you were playing your tablets? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, you're going to have to eat in a little bit, okay? Yes, sir. Pulling the big trailer through a small town is uh, not exactly what I'd always call fun. Also, this pizza definitely isn't the best pizza I've ever had, but definitely the best pizza I've ever had from a small town. So really happy your little town has a good pizza joint. So what's awesome about these is this is from a gentleman who planted 400 blueberry bushes to start his orchard back in 2013. He's grown it up to somewhere over 2,000 plants or something. Anyway, they're hoping to build a house there in a few years. So what he originally planted, um, they've been selling really cheap just to have the land cleared for where they want to put their house because it's the best spot on the property. So for less than the cost of like the small potted bushes I can get from a nursery, we're going to go get some plants that are eight years old already mature and just bearing crazy amounts of fruit. We picked up 13 a few weeks ago and we weren't sure if the weather was going to hold to be able to get another load because uh, spring's really sudden in but fortunately we got some clear weather. It's been dry a few days so everything's not too muddy. We'll be able to get some up and uh, get two more rows of blueberries and which is going to be really exciting. That'll get us up to 26 plants. So if everything goes well we're looking at upwards of maybe 400 pounds of blueberries a year that we'll be able to harvest off these things. Last time it was a little tough to get turned around with the trailer loaded, so I got smart and figured we'd turn the trailer around first before we loaded, but uh, it's been raining and I didn't realize how big the mud pit was here. And uh, fortunately, I always keep toe straps in the truck. So he pulled us out, we got turned around, getting loaded up. Really excited to get these home in the ground. All right, well, it's a little late, but we made it home. Everything rode just fine again. Fortunately, I think the sum total was about 28 plants. But anyway, it's too late to do anything with it, so see you in the morning. After we picked them up, we've had some storms, so we've had a few days of sun, so ready to finally get these dudes in the ground. Learned my lesson last time. It took forever to keep driving the tractor around the barn to pick these up. So we're gonna hitch the tractor up to the trailer and try to get it back in the field where we're gonna put these and uh, hopefully not get the trailer stuck. So I just had a realization and measured the trailer. It's a little over eight feet, and I think my gates might only be eight feet wide. So before I hitch up and try to bring it over there, I wanna make sure I'm actually gonna fit through. Oh good, this is actually a 10 foot gate. So it's gonna be tight, but we will have some room on each side.
So of course, keep everything consistent. I need to mark out where my rows are gonna be. I'm doing 12 foot spacing, so. That gives me plenty of room to get the tractor in between stuff. So, got the first trench done. It's uh, fairly straight. I just took my measurement. Now, just to get good spacing, you know, doing what I'm doing. Pro tip, don't paint your tape measure. Here I have some soil acidifier. Blueberries like a more acid soil, if it's more base, we call that a sweet soil. They don't like a sweet soil. So we have to add some acid. This is clay. I haven't done a pH test, so I'm just kind of uh, guessing a little bit, but I'm sure it's gonna need it. A good way to know what your plants need is if they have a picture of the plant you're growing or the name of it on the bag, it's probably for that stuff. And down here it says four blueberries and hydrangeas. Also, you know, it says it's got sulfur and stuff. The cheaper way to go about this would be getting a bag of sulfur from a co-op center. I don't have a good one close. I need to find one still. But I'm just going to put some in the dirt under where the plant's gonna go, which is gonna help. And then I'll add a little bit on top too, just to help make sure everything stays good. You'll notice I have lines and O's now, except for this line, because I realized I'd actually shifted my row. I should have started higher up. So I had to come take another bite and then shift all my marks trick is if you have to move your marks whenever you move them use a different shape if you use a line use a circle or a square or an x that way you don't get them confused the other thing i'm adding a little bit of is some blood meal which is higher in nitrogen but because it's an organic product it has a lot of what we call miners in it or other minerals and vitamins and whatever other stuff it is that plants eat that they like. It's kind of like when you talk about human nutrition and we have the macros, you know, your protein, carbohydrates, um, fats, but then we also get into the fact that, well, you also need so much potassium and vitamin A and vitamin K and a little bit of copper and this and that and the other thing. You know, it's important for plants to have all those other things. And a lot of times when you get into some of the more manufactured um, fertilizers or just like a 30, uh, 33, 10, 10 or whatever, um, it's only that specific you know, nitrogen, phosphorus or, phosph or uh, potash. And you don't get all the miners and all the other nutrients a plant needs. One of the reasons I like going with more organic materials or fertilizers is because it has all those other stuff. Because this is uh, dried blood, basically, with some other stuff added. With blueberries, you don't want to add bone meal because bone meal will actually sweeten the soil. Although it does help encourage all your fruiting and getting your buds and blooms and stuff. But these are doing great and you don't want to add that because again, sweetens the soil. So.
Well, there we go. Didn't manage to get the dirt back over them, but they're all in the trench at least for the storm. It's going to last the next two days, so at least we won't be washing mud off the root ball onto the trailer and losing it. Um, we'll probably lose a little bit of mud, but roots will get watered, move the dirt on top. Should be good. So I guess we'll come back after the storms when it's dry. Just in time. Boys aren't quite done yet. Looks like it's story time. Check this out, next morning and the storms are holding off till this afternoon, so should have time to get these covered, but coffee first. All right, so pretty much done, just fertilizing, and I can see the rain clouds moving in, so that'll, you know, water all the plants in and the fertilizer, and it'll be good. Eventually, we need to get some mulch, and I gotta set up my irrigation. Um, those will be different videos, though, and I'm just adding this on top because we added underneath to help soil the deeper, to condition the deeper soil to help get the roots down, but everything we just piled on top doesn't have what the plants need probably. So doing that, and I was impressed. It seemed like the farther out we got this way, the soil actually got a lot better. Like, instead of just hard clay, that's actually some fairly loamy stuff with a lot of organic material. So yeah, should be pretty good. Anyway, I guess, uh, I guess that's about it.